Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. I'm in the autumn winter catalogue. We have these <laughs> um, little uh, test tubes with corks in the top and I've been having so much fun filling them with all sorts of goodies and I thought I needed to make some packaging for them. So this is what I came up with. So if you'd like to make one of these or um, one of some several other ideas that I have that I'm going to be sharing, um, stay with me, pop over, we will go and have a, a little play. Right, okay, so we're going to start off with a piece of A4 length, which is about 11 and a half inches. And you'll see that the actual length doesn't really matter. It's just how tall the back of the box is. But where we are going to score is at two and a quarter inches, three inches, five and a quarter inches, and six inches. Um, we also are going to need two pieces of designer series paper Some from the um, Quilted Christmas pack and I have chosen two pieces here in garden green and this is two and one eighth, uh, sorry, two and one eighth by one and three quarters and one and three quarters by one and three quarters. Now, the first thing we need to do is to punch a little hole for our test tube to go through and that's going to be in the middle here. And um, you can measure, but I'm just going to kind of eyeball that and say that's about the middle there. And I'm going to put in a three quarter inch circle punch and punch out that little circle. And that's going to be where our test tube goes. And I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow glue on the back there. Fold that down. And if I reach for another round test tube, so you get about eight in the in the pack there. That's how that's going to go in. And then we're going to um, stick our designer paper on. There's one piece. And another. Actually, before I stick that on, and this is optional, but you can use the scalloped um, tag topper punch. Oops, helps if you go all the way up, mind you. <laughs> and punch a little piece out of the top. Gives you somewhere to put some ribbon through. So I meant to do that before I stuck that piece on. But as you can see, the actual height is not really um, uh, sort of important. And you can leave that square or just corner around it um, if you wish. Right, so we need to have a little sign to say that this is reindeer food. Now I have just, um, I've just uh, printed this out on my computer and popped it on a label. You could just print it onto Whisper White and I'm punching that out with a one inch circle punch. Obviously the punch you use probably depends on the, the size of font that you've chosen to use, but I've gone from quite a little one there and pop that out. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop that onto the front of my project. Now a little word about the um, the reindeer food. Um, this I've actually got a mixture of seeds and um, nuts and oats in here. Um, I would suggest that you don't put glitter in there because when you're sprinkling that out for reindeer or anybody else that comes along and eats it, probably eating glitter isn't the best idea. So that would be my um, my suggestion and that's going to just pop in like that. But we need to have a little bit more decoration. So what I've decided to do is to go for um, use some dies. Now these are from the um, card front builder set and there's all sorts of things in there but included in there are some uh, nice pine trees and also a little deer as well so I thought that would be good for the reindeer food and we'll just pop those through the big shot. I'm 
going to just give a little bit of extra dimension to the trees by sponging the edges and I'm going to use the garden green which is the same colour green as the designer paper. You could make it all matching but I just wanted to have a little bit of a bit of variation in there. If I just daub those edges and then we'll pop the trees on. I'm going to glue these direct onto the project. I'm going to use the little mini dimensionals to pop these, pop the tree on. I do like these dimensionals for getting into the more fiddly little die cuts that we have sometimes. Now I want to put the reindeer on the front. I could just stick him on, but I think he'd be better on a... a actually, there's the little circle that I punched out earlier. I'm going to pop him up on there. Just make him stand out a little bit more. And I'll pop a dimensional on the back. Um, another little tip is you might like to put a dimensional on the bottom of your reindeer food. And I'm just popping that in. That'll stop it waggling around and keep it nice and still. So I'm just going to finish off by adding some ribbon. You could tie it round the test tube, but I'm going to use the quarter inch, whoops, real red ribbon. It's a big enough hole for that to go through. It just didn't want to go. And tie a bow in the top. And there we go. So, lots of other things you can put in these little holders. Um, what about hot chocolate? Or maybe a pair of them with hot chocolate and marshmallows, that would be really good. Um, the Come Let Us Sit Together and Drink Hot Chocolate is actually from the um, balloon stamp set. It's actually in balloon celebration, if you've got that one. Um, what about mulling spices? Um, with the, um, the new um, half full stamp set, I've put that little one here, but I think that's quite a fun one to do. And, you, you know, here I've, I've just put some twine around and a label on rather than making the whole box. Um, but you could do all sorts of things. I can't wait to see um, what you come up with for these little test tubes. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're watching on YouTube, um, go down below and give me a thumbs up. That would be really helpful. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for visiting today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. La 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 la